Hey, what's going on guys? My name is a problem here. Welcome back to a brand new video. Now today, I'm going to be bringing you my manga haul for the month of February 2020. Now, I got a lot of stuff and there's not a whole lot of diversity because one of the big chunks of books I got is all the same series and we'll cover that at the end. But yeah, I do have some other pickups that I'd like to share with you that I think you'll find pretty interesting. So yeah, without further ado, let's get right into the haul. Now, the first two books that I picked up this month are the third and fourth Full Metal Alchemist Full Metal Edition. Now, you guys know that these are excellent quality books in an excellent quality series. Now, I picked up the first two, rather, I actually got those as a gift for my birthday, right after I finished the anime of Full Metal Alchemist, and I thought, you know, I need the manga in this format. Uh, the best possible way to read this. The page quality is amazing, and you have some nice color pages as well. Just all around a great release, and I know I'm behind on these, but eventually, if I have some spare money that I want to spend, Maybe I'll catch up and then read it once I have all of it, or at least most of it. But as of right now, I only have the first four. But yeah, definitely very pleased with these. The next three books that I picked up are One Punch Man, Volumes 1, 17, and 19, which actually hasn't come out officially yet. Now, you may be wondering how I got this volume early, and I actually got all three of these volumes in a lot on eBay this month. Um, I don't know how he got this one. I know a few people have this, actually, probably more than I think. But uh, yeah, it's kind of cool to have one punch volume early. I still need a few more volumes to fill in the gap from 13 to where I am now with 19. But I have 17, and that just fills one of the gaps. I got it for a really good price. So next month, definitely, I'll be filling in those gaps, and then I'll get around to reading these. Now, you might have seen this one punch volume one cover and thought, what is that? Well, this is actually the, I believe it's San Diego Comic Con. Um, exclusive volume. It has a black cover, black spine, and the same artwork on the back, but um, there are a couple of these collector's editions, I guess you could say, for volume one. There's the original, then there's this one, and I also have the Loot Crate edition, which is yellow, and I think I have all of them. If there aren't, make sure to let me know in the comments because I'll be interested in picking that up, but yeah, I don't know why. This isn't even like a really good volume of One Punch in my opinion. It's actually kind of one of the more slow ones in my opinion. But um, just the exclusivity of it and the really cool art on the front and on the spine just made me need to have this. Not need, but you, you know what I mean. This is a really cool volume to have. Now, if you watch my monthly manga reading log, you know what this last series is. And I said it in that video and I'll say it again. This is by far my favorite manga series that I've ever read, period. And that is Gantz. Now, I'm not gonna pull them all out, but you can see back here, I have one through 30, excluding about three volumes, I think 21, 26, and 29 right now, which are a little bit more rare. In due time, I'll have those. I pulled out some of my favorite covers of all of Gantz that I have right now. Um, here's 27, 20, which is probably my favorite. Really good volume, too. Then we have 24, and 25, still in the plastic. I don't know how well you can see that cover there, but really, really good. Now, I almost picked up 30 volumes of Gantz, excluding that few that I mentioned, but I actually read 1 through 23 this month, which I went over in my monthly manga reading log, and uh, this just goes to show how much I love this series. Can't get enough Gantz. It is a little bit expensive this month. My wallet took a pretty big hit. I didn't spend a lot of money. That will probably be a reoccurring trend as I do all these haul videos, but you know, I just can't resist sometimes, especially for a series like Gantz. It's just so incredible. Without a doubt, you'll be seeing Gantz from here on out through the manga hall until I get it complete. Probably every month, I don't know how many volumes per month, but in some way or another, you'll probably be seeing Gantz sneak into each haul video from now on. I'm definitely going to be making a Gantz manga review once I finish the series, which I don't know how far that will be. I actually really like collecting the physical volumes, and I really, really don't like reading online. Even though some of them are like $50 volumes, I'd prefer to have those and get them, no matter how long it'll take me, than read online. So who knows when I'll finish that series. Once it's done, I'm definitely going to be making a manga review on it. So yeah, that's everything I picked up for this month of February 2020, manga-wise. Uh, not a lot of variety, but definitely some really cool things, like that One Punch of Volume 1 Special Edition and all of the Gantz that I got really makes up for the lack of variety because some really good volumes I picked up, um, enjoyed reading them, and can't wait to read the ones that I haven't gotten to yet. But yeah, that's gonna wrap up the video. If you did enjoy it, make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more manga videos just like this. So yeah, this has been The Prom G. Hopefully you enjoyed the video, and as always, hope to catch you in the next one.